Hey guys, this is Brendan Mejia from Power Rangers Dino Charge. This is Jack Guzman. I play Danny Delgado as the Black Ranger on Wild Ford. Hey, it's Mike Chen. This is the Gold Power Ranger from Power Rangers RPM. And this is Steve Cardenas, a.k.a. Rocky the Red Power Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And it's Peter Sidarso. I play Preston the Blue Ninja Steel Ranger and Marvin the Red Hyperforce Ranger. Hey guys, this is Tracy Lynn Cruz. Do you like dancing and do you like Power Rangers? Well, make sure to come to Morphicon 2018 to the Angel Grove High School Prom. I'll see you there. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys at the Angel Grove High School Prom Party hosted by That Hashtag Show. Looking forward to seeing you guys there. Come out and have some fun. Peace. Come join me at the Angel Grove Prom at PMC 2018. I don't have, I've never been to a prom because in New Zealand we don't have prom. So join me. It's going to be my first. Crown me, prom king. No, no, king, don't do that. And I need you guys to make sure you join me at the Angel Grove Senior Prom at Power Morphicon this year. And I want to see you at the hashtag shows Angel Grove from at Power Morphicon. I want to welcome you to the Power Morphicon Angel Grove High School Prom. I'm looking forward to seeing you all. It's going to be fabulous. Dress up and uh, we'll see you then. Oh jeez, the, the prom stuff was that quick? That quick? Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, well, we don't have a picture here, by the way. <laughs> um, we are live, guys. It's been uh, we weren't here last week. No, we weren't here last week, but it was all to prepare for what is now happening. Oh wow, this is really close. <laughs> I'm Joe. This is L. This is Daniel. We are here. We're going to be talking about the White Ranger White Light episode. Yeah. This is right, White Ranger week what? for yeah. all of us Power Ranger fans. Do you remember the White Ranger? I do. Did you like the White Ranger or the Green Ranger more? I like the outfit of the White Ranger. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, the gold and white. Like, looks the so shield good. is better. It, like, and it's a little more poke, sturdy. Yeah, nothing's going to poke me in the eye and it looks more like an actual, looks more like armor. Yeah. Than anything else. Yeah, and the helmet looks good. The tiger design. I love it. I love it a lot. So we have a few things to plug first, but before we get into all uh, of the episode, uh, first things first, Daniel, what is the Tea Public store? Tea Public is where you can go to get cool shirts, kind of like the one I'm wearing right now. This is actually a this is a hashtag exclusive, um, but you can definitely get cool shirts there, um, and they run from any level of a genre, and they do a lot of mashups. You'll see like what we have there, a Saved by the Bell uh, Power Ranger one, and uh, you can check it out there. Really good stuff. Um, we'll have a sale next week. So uh, check it out for that, and usually that's where we drop everything down to like 14 bucks instead of $20, which the money you save will now be used to ship your stuff out. Where do you out. think the word so bucks boom. came from? I have an, oh, Instead it's like a, a, dang, you should know you're wearing the hat, the Confederate hat or whatever hat. They, oh, that's wow. Union that's hat. Whoa, wow. whoa, wow. whoa. Wow. That's when they, that's when they <laughs> came up with it, the Union hats and all that during that time. Did they, they really? I didn't know that. about bucks and backs. It was like green backs, and then they changed something about bucks. What that does helps support the show. Hit that S. It's be real. It's dollar sign. Hit that dollar sign. Uh, helps support the show. And uh, well, we're buffering. Go figure. You know why we're buffering? It's probably the internet, actually. This can be. I hope it fits perfectly over your shirt, too. The buffering? The buffer circle. Oh, like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then what else we got? What, what else we got? We got the uh, THS Hashtagers group. Oh, yeah. That is a group of. Um, like minded geeks get to talk about like minded geek stuff. So, you like Power Rangers, you like Doctor Who, you like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you like Marvel, you like DC, whatever you like, you can discuss it there. Even stuff that I didn't mention, you can definitely discuss it there. Make a conversation, build it up, have everyone else talk about it. You can be that popular kid in class. That's how it works. Popular kid in class? Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know? I definitely think the White Ranger, by the way, is better than the Green Ranger. Why? I agree. Well, he had his powers way longer. The Green Ranger was really only there for a cup of coffee. Yeah, and well, <laughs> and, and the White Ranger's powers are uh, made from pure goodness or whatever, and blah, 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 yada, yada, so they can't be taken away. I remember when Zordon said that. That is, true. Remember, that you know? is true. Pure goodness, where the Green Ranger powers were from pure evil. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> uh, yes, this is a fact. All right, now what do we got? Uh... <laughs> Let's talk about, uh, we, well, we, let's talk about this a little bit. We got to talk about White Light. Um, the White Light uh, saga was actually built up to being like, who is the next White Ranger? Fun story behind the scenes. I'm sure a lot of you already know this. 
Brad Hawkins from VR Troopers was originally going to be the White Ranger, as Jason David Frank was going to go on to get his own show, which yep. was going to be called, uh, at the time I think it was called Cyber Force. Cybertron. Cybertron? Right, wasn't it? No, that I think it's Cybertron. We were like, right? really? Cybertron? Maybe it was Cybertron. And it's like, one of the two. I heard it and I was like, um, how are they going to do that? And how is Transformers Yeah, I think you're okay right. It? No, I thought Transformers was Cybertron. That's what I said. And I was like, how is Transformers going to be okay with it? I think it's Cyber Force, I think. Let's see. Yeah, Cyber Force is a comic book. Cybertron Transformers. We're not sure no, which no. one it is, but it's one of them. <laughs> Type in Cybertron Saban. Cybertron Saban. Yeah, let's see if that works. Saban. Let's see. Cybertron. There is a Cybertron. Can't see because I'm right. Let's see Cyber Force Saban. Are you just John Cena really quick? No, I'm just saying. I was oh, okay. just, you know, just, like, you know, just whatever. <laughs> Cyber Force Saban is also correct. I'm just kidding. It's Sounds like a laptop's <laughs> <laughs> out the window. No, <laughs> Cybertron was uh, Jason David Frank's solo vehicle. Uh, pretty much VR Troopers. He was getting his own show. However, there was such an outcry. There was such an outcry by fans that they wanted to bring JDF back. And uh, guess what? He got his chance. Well, see, that kind of sucks for him though, because he's like, "All right, I got my own thing. I'm top billing. Blah blah blah. Yada yada. I'll be able to." you know, later build up and make as much as I want. And then they're like, oh, but we want you back here because we want to restrict you as fans. You know, and then so he's like, Zordon okay. made him the leader of the Power Rangers in that one line. That was totally messed up. That Jason was so out of nowhere. Up. So that was great. I mean, he came back. Oh Maybe my that God. was part of the deal. I'm going to be the leader. True. That could you be know, <laughs> interesting, <laughs> interestingly <laughs> enough, um, that uh, line about him being the leader yeah. actually came after the fact because it was an ADR line. So, I don't know if you've noticed, when they all had their helmets on, Jason, Zach, and Trini all had different voices. Oh, right. this is where it starts. This is, is where it, it starts. Yeah. yeah. So, they all had different voices. They had uh, fill-in ADR actors. So, when, um, when they did the scene where Tommy gets his powers, they added that line in because they knew that Austin was gone. Oh, okay. So, I don't think he was originally supposed to be the leader. <laughs> so it just cool. ended up happening that way, mainly because he left. Um, oh, I, man. I, don't, I, I didn't know that. Like when I just heard that line, because I was kind of just watching it on the side, and I was like, "Whoa, way to go, Zordon! <laughs> the new White Ranger. Guess what, Jason, you're out." You, and then they go to that clip of Jason. He's like, "All oh, right, I like it or whatever." And yeah, I was like, I, like I, "I don't think you liked it at all." No. Yeah, no. I, I would have been. Wait, wait, what? What did you just say? One more time, Zordon. Yeah, let's, let's go over this one more time because I need to make sure that uh, I heard what I think I heard. Right? Like, I thought leader? I was the leader. Yeah, he's been gone <laughs> for a while, and I've been having to deal with everything. He's, he's the leader? He's the leader of the Power Force. However, <laughs> however, who do you think goes down in history as more of an iconic leader? Jason Ooh. or Tommy? Tommy. 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 It's gotta be Tommy. 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 So many Tommy's times. Man. So many times, no matter what. You know what? We do have special footage, though. Uh, a, a deleted scene that was, wasn't was shot where we had uh, an alternate version. We talked about Brad Hawkins being the White Ranger. We actually have that footage. Could we play that footage? This promises to be a momentous occasion. You are about to meet the newest member of your team. As you are aware, the Green Ranger's power was completely decimated by his last few battles. Alpha and I felt it was time to create an even more powerful Ranger to combat Lord Zed and his diabolical evil. To that end, a candidate was selected, and a new Power Ranger was created. And now, my friends, I present to you... John Cena! No! <laughs> yes! You, I could, oh. we couldn't see him! Oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> it was like, here it is. John Cena! I, I'm in. I'm in. That, that would be best. that would be one of the best things ever. Yeah, it probably would have Actually, been. The ratings oh. would have... But, well, it would have been two people walking around with no sleeves on. That's true. That's you true. Can't have that. That's true. You can't have that. If you think Jason was already mad, it would have been like, <laughs> forget about it. That's it. John Cena shows up, that would have been the end of everything. John Cena would have been <laughs> the best stranger there ever was. Um, so we have we have all this uh, going on. This... this um, this was a little bit of misdirection, though, from the beginning, because they, they hinted at different people being the White Ranger. But they didn't do it as hard. And I even remember I as a kid not necessarily knowing who it was, because they built it up for you not to know who it was. However, and he knows this for a fact, I guessed it. I figured out yep. Tommy was the White Ranger. Yep. Um, 
Mainly because it wouldn't make any sense for it to really be anybody else. It's like, you already have this other guy. Why yeah. wouldn't he just be the White Ranger? I mean, when they made him, like, disappear at the beginning of the first episode of the two, it was like, oh, okay. I was like, oh, it's Zed at first, you know? Like, yeah, he because like, Tommy looked like he was in pain, and he was like, oh. Yeah, and, that's I was like, and it's like, like Zordon couldn't can just, like, contact him and be like, yo, Tommy, we need you <laughs> exactly, for, like, real quick. Right? We, we're working like, on this thing. We want to be involved. You had no idea what he was had planned out throughout <laughs> the day or anything. He probably could have had to visit his old grandmother or anything like that, and they're just like, just take him now. It doesn't matter. You know, like, Like, he just dick. disappears, right? Like, from <laughs> school, where he's like, bye, Tommy, like, having a funeral moment. It's yeah, like, right? he still have to go to school? <laughs> I know he's sad over being, like, not the Green Ranger, but cool, I'm glad you're gonna go be a hermit in your uncle's cabin for... Well, here's here's also uh, <laughs> something interesting, is that it, when Billy finds out, he says Zordon's making a new Ranger. Yep. And he tells everybody else, they look pissed. Like, they Man. don't want a oh, new, a new they Ranger. They were so upset. I love that part, because it was like, and in, in, uh, first Kimberly automatically has to be the first one. What about Tommy? What about Tommy? Oh my god. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I feel like Jason was more like, it. what? We just got rid of Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you guys a question. Again? If you were a Power Ranger, <laughs> would you rather be led by Tommy or Jason? Tommy. I mean, but it's because of his track record now. Going off of just that alone, um... I would probably go, at that time, I would have probably said uh, Jason. Yeah? Because it's like, well, he's proven himself. Really? Jason does? Don't, Jason has horrible ideas. I was going to agree. At that time, at that time, time, time I would have chosen Tommy. Maybe just, Tommy. We need a leadership change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, when it, no, for sure. Especially when Billy's like, Jason, like, our Megazord has no power. He's like, we got to fight anyways. <laughs> They're like, whoa, what? <laughs> We're just gonna go out there without the Zord. Jason, Let's Jason, go, guys. Jason was never actually. Jason's written better in the comic book than he actually is. In the <coughs> book. Jason is never. He's never making wise decisions. He's always one to act first. Okay. He's never yeah. sitting back and being like, okay, let's really think about this. Or even, hey, Billy, you're smart. What should we do? <laughs> Nothing. It's just like, oh, <laughs> well, he's kind of upset. The I love Jason. I love Austin. But I think that he he had His a lot of yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Not great. I actually think that would have been a kind of cool take if you um. If you actually uh, went back and did some of these, mm -hmm. I think it would have been a cool take for Jason to be the overzealous leader and him have to learn, have to be second fiddle to Tommy and then have to learn a lesson in that, but then growing to be like, all right, at the end of seasons, I like, Tom, all right, Jason, I'm going to pass my power, my, my leadership role. The <laughs> only way he would pass his leadership role is if he's like, I'm dying again because I'm not giving this up. He wouldn't have given it up. I like, think, dude, I do also think Jason, Jason was better as the Gold Ranger once we get there. Like, oh, there. Yeah. Well, later, going was dope. Right. Yeah, but I, I kind of like what you're saying too, because like Tommy was so excited when he was a White Ranger, and he's like calling his little White Tigers, or he's like, yeah, like oh my God, that was so hilarious. Was oh, like, oh, there's an explanation for that, and we'll get to that later. <laughs> oh um, my God, Tommy, I loved, it. I loved it so much. Tommy was a good choice here, but it was kind of strange seeing him in a leadership role. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, it's just so weird. I can't imagine Jason taking orders from Tommy, especially at this point. <laughs> it, it just doesn't quite make sense to me. Especially since he's the newest member of the team, technically. Uh -huh. And all the other five. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. We got a big super chat by oh uh, Bryn Darby. Yo, you guys, uh, I hope I haven't missed that much. You are amazing. Thank you so much for that. Is this yeah, our super chat thing for this episode? Oh, all yeah. Right. This is what you get for the super chat well, thing. Well, pretty much. I would think, too, right at that moment for that, for this super chat. <laughs> My gosh. You know what? Here was something interesting too. Um, when I was a kid, I actually didn't know that uh, that this suit was from a completely different Sentai series. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I, uh, um, what's the name? Jesse told me this. I didn't know that. However, when I was also a kid, there used to be this place in Santa Monica called Puzzle Zoo, and they had and Power Ranger toys were crazy. All right. So I bought the Thunder Zords, um, like right before, like right when they had debuted on TV, except it was the Sentai version of the Thunder Zords. Oh. So it had all the costumes that looked like his, and I was like, is this like a, I, I swear to God, I was like, these are the same Zords, but I think this is like a knockoff. <laughs> but I didn't know that it was, uh, it was really the Japanese version at all. <laughs> he ran over. But I still, bought him. Me? I still bought them, and I still have them. I should bring up my Zords. I have so many Zords from when sure. I was a kid. Um, and I just found, like, I think the last one I bought, actually, it's still in its box, actually, was, um, the, the the Silver Rangers Zord from uh, Space. Hmm. That's the last one I bought. I still have the box. I just looked at it the other day. Um, well, thank but, you, Lashana. I appreciate that. She said that the hashtag show was awesome. I'm hooked on this show. Thank you, Lashana. Lashana She's Brooks is a new... Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, I was going to say Oh, that. I... I, I <laughs> uh, it's your line. It's your line. Now, um, let's, get back to the, <laughs> let's get back to the plot here. Dude, I don't... You know what? I don't even remember really the plot, just that there was a White Ranger. Okay, so... 
um, Zordon and it goo. Uh, I remember Zach touching some goo. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was Zordon, Alpha, Zordon and Alpha say, "Let's go into a even far more secret place than our secret base." But let's and, not tell uh, anybody where we're going. Who needs responsibility? Yeah, not us. And you know, it's not like Angel Grove gets attacked every day by monsters, except no. for it does. So except for the fact that it does every yeah. day. So they go ahead and disappear and don't tell anyone and won't respond to anyone's communications because they're using all the power yeah, of what? the place huh? to pretty much give uh, Tommy power. For sure, Zordon, <laughs> Zordon must have really liked Tommy. Oh, man. Like, on. I'm going to shut down all the power, <laughs> and if we get attacked, oh, well. It's okay. I have a White Ranger. Yeah, no one will mind. And it was like, yeah, everyone minded. Everyone was upset. But so then they go ahead and do this, and then, of course, they get attacked. Rangers are like, well, even when no one... That's a good point. Thomas Franco does make a good point. They go to the power chamber, which is later used in Zeo. Oh, okay. that's right. That's right. So, yeah, we wait a few more seasons until we get to see that place again. That's great. Oh, so, we get to see it, but not from the top <laughs> down through the vents. Oh, no, 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 no. Like now we actually get to be them? in there. Yeah. Oh, but we didn't know that that place exists until one whole season. <laughs> and it's only in the secret. <laughs> it's only secret. And then after that, we don't see it again for two more seasons. So that's good. That's the best way to go over it. That's not a good idea. I understand, but it's not a good idea. And so then when that happens and they're down there, you know, giving power to Tommy. Uh, Very Frankenstein style, like him laying on the bed. It was exactly. like Finster in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And they get attacked and the Rangers jump into doing their job because their uh, fearless leader says we need to go ahead and take care of stuff. Shout out to you, Jason. Um, <laughs> so that's what happens and that's what's going on. So, um, yeah, it was, it was just a display of uh, pretty much a leader doing what he needed to do. So let's run some scenarios real quick. I mean, <laughs> I think the more interesting, we know that. I like that snobs. We know what the story <laughs> is. I think, I think we pretty much know what the story is for the most part. Man, what do we get? Buffering issues, dog. Oh, my thing was also, it. how is it that Zed can still spy on them, but they never spy on Zed? Because Zed was like, oh, look, there, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, and he knew what was going on. So Lawyers, like, man. Now let's fight. Lawyers, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> um, here's, uh, let's play a little what-if scenario. All right. What if Jason, Zach, and Trini have never left? Would Tommy have been the leader? And what would have happened? Because we already know what the episode's about. I mean, everybody knows it's like Conor mm -hmm. If they never left? Mm -hmm. Like, left Power Rangers? Would he no, still... left Zarbaton. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm thinking about for the episode where they did step away. So uh, if they never left, um, yeah, Tommy will still be leader. I don't think so. Why not? I don't think they ADR, ADR in that line. Oh, really? You don't think so? They would have been like, ah, we're cool. I think Jason remain, he, remains the leader. And I he think, has the coolest suit, and yet he's not the leader. I Well, he was that with the Green Ranger, too. Uh, they were pretty much trying to make I don't him know, leader. though, because especially since all the other Zords, they now connect to Tommy's white tiger Zord, That's and true. Jason is left kind of naked and like, hey... <laughs> So Jason does have the only other Zord that does turn into like a humanoid. Kind of humanoid yeah, thing, I, yeah, I, I kind of feel like there would be some kind of fighting. Like, no, I need the extra ranger feet. And oh the yeah, extra ranger like, no, arms. it's me. No, yeah. and then they're just arguing. Battle to the death. <laughs> yeah. Man, we're getting some major buffering issues. Oh jeez, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know either. Let me know if you guys are having problems with the buffering issues. It's annoying to me. Um, all right, here, here's another scenario. Yes. What if? What if Brad Hawkins was the right ranger and and Tommy never came back? Oh, no. Mm -mm. The rangers would have probably quit. Nah. Oh, how upset they were when they were like, oh, my God, what, what do you mean it's not Tommy? Like, they were like, we're going to go over there to that command center and we're just going to break that tube right now. Forget it or not. Like, they were ready for it. They were pretty upset. They I were. think unanimously they were all like, this should go to Tommy. Yeah. If it didn't go to Tommy, I would have been upset, too. Like, at that time, no, man. Uh, here's a dude that says, it spelled his name... Prow Ranger is wrong. He says, fix the internet. Okay, hold on. Did, did you get it, Tommy? No, we're I'm just going to talk talk amongst ourselves now. Come on, Billy. Come on. Wait, wait. I'm going to do just like Billy did on the episode. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Good. I think I think it's fixed. Yeah, he didn't really do anything. All right, hold on. Wait, I think I got it. All right. I'm, all right. Net neutrality. All right, oh, man, I think I got it. I think I got it fixed. Yeah, we're not going to be able to fix these buffering issues. <laughs> the, uh, they're, it's terrible in here. Sorry, sometimes the internet's great, sometimes it isn't. It's We're sorry. But we're going to try to do what we can. So um, they are mentioning something that you mentioned earlier, Saba. Oh, yeah, the, the saber that talks and apparently <laughs> controls the Zord. It's like, why is Tommy still here? Why did they just make <laughs> just the make Zord a Power Ranger? <laughs> I don't... 
quite well, understand. Because Saba but... couldn't do those cool moves that Tommy did inside of the cockpit. You I know? mean, I think if we give him a chance, he might be able to, just like the sword spinning like in space. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't know. It was. It was like it was not. I was not a fan of it. I definitely wasn't. Like it's weird. And he was like, "Hey, I thought you knew how to control this." And like the Zord is like on its back, like a turtle, and it can't flip so... itself over. No. <laughs> <laughs> it puts him in a holster. It's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and that's it for Saba. You never hear oh, him yeah. anymore. He just broke it up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Savage Tommy. That's it. That's what we need to call it. Like Savage Tommy. Oh, God. Because, no, he never does speak again. I think he probably threatened him. Like, you know, one day, it was just Saba's like, oh, I think that you should... I can melt you down, and no one would know. And he's, <laughs> he's like, so just shut up. It must have just put, like, a picture of, like, scotch tape around <laughs> and it. And yeah. out, Chad. He's like, I'm a powerful weapon. Well, well what's that tape is your weakness? Was it the internet? <laughs> is it, it the internet? Uh, it looks like it's a combination of a, a lot of different... Uh-oh. Um, yes, there you go. Well, hopefully this, this uh, fixed uh, some of the buffering issues. Yeah, Let's hopefully. be honest. It's not like we didn't expect this going yet. <laughs> we said. Oh, man. It's Switch all right. to my it's phone, right. hopefully that'll work. It's Listen, Blackwing, it's not on your end, it's our end. Trust yeah, it's me. us, sorry. Um, but that doesn't make us not still not the best Power Rangers show you're ever going to watch. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh my anyway, God. back to this. Uh, the, 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 they take out the monster quite easily. Uh, Rita's, Rita actually makes her return in this episode. Yes, but not fully. But, yeah, and she gets sent back out into space, but we don't know where. They're just like, here you go. Uh, How did she get back in the first place? I thought Zed like, sent her to the outer world. Right, I galaxy. thought it was. So it just like, in all that time, within about a few days, it just kind of orbited around Earth. <laughs> even and then came like, back down ex like, exactly where it pretty much left from, yeah. almost. Zed's not that competent. I guess that's what's going on. He, he guess, came in as a bell. Oh, there it is. That lag. It's back. Maybe maybe the thing was, I mean, because ultimately, you know, they get married. Maybe Zed was like, you know, subconsciously, I don't really want to get rid of her. So he just kind of, you know, I'm just going to half butt it, you know, and watch her come back. I guess, but why wouldn't she just come back to the moon where it's just like, oh, I'm, let's send her to Earth. Because, you know, <laughs> that seems... Okay. It seems fine. You know, she, she, she's going to be okay. Earthlings can find her and open up the trash can or the dumpster and we'll, well, we'll deal with it when time comes. Once again, Zed didn't foresee a giant can opener. You know, that's that's the one thing he didn't foresee. I also like how they were like, hey, Ernie will have something that we can use to open <laughs> and this. And who has a, 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 a can opener that size? Right? And then well, Ernie's just like, hey, yeah, go ahead and take it. Do whatever you want. You yeah, hey, perfectly fine. Yeah. I, I don't work on this cake anyway. I don't need a can opener for the cake. We're good. We're Daniel good. Daniel Romano yeah. asks if you wore that hat uh, Jace Jessica scolded. I did. Purpose. Yeah. I did. Where did you okay. find that? Did you just have that? Yeah, I have it. It's from um, an Abraham Lincoln Museum in Illinois. Oh. Yeah. Do you think that's where Skull Guy is? I, I hope so. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> like set design and everything. They were like, all right, this is genius. Who will get it from? Yeah, my Biffle brought me when he went to Illinois. Your what like, now? Biffle? Best friends for life. I, I actually learned it from my middle school students when I used to teach. <laughs> a biffle. A biffle. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hip with the kids. Okay. Oh so here's God. another here's another uh, question. When because when 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 he did when Tommy did become the leader. Zordon says you're you're now the leader of the power team. I actually thought the power team was like a different group. Yeah, right. Like that, I thought he was didn't like, include Jason. Like, you're, you're now you're you're now the leader of the power team. Let me introduce you to them. And he just points them out, and you're like, it's like the Beast Rangers. It's yeah. like the, the angsty teenagers from that other episode. And it's like <laughs> you get these guys, the Dark Rangers. Yeah, yeah. the janky costumes. They're <laughs> shitty nutty <buddy> costumes. <laughs> Yeah. No. like, oh. <laughs> um, I can. I can. Um, I don't know if that's like due to Green Day, but no. <laughs> could be. I wouldn't be shocked. I feel I like that's the shocked. name of one of the albums, right? It was Nimrod. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Guys are learning history today. Green Day, and then the sister history. or whatever they're called is ACDC. I was like, what is? This yeah, show? when she was like, oh, she was like, oh, I have some friends, and boom, and then they come out. What are you talking about? AC and DC. On, on the... On oh, the show. monster. Yeah, yeah they gotcha. have names, and it's ACTC. And really? Yeah. Shooting, yeah, and they were and shooting on like, electricity, wait. so it was like, oh, I get it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know. That was clever. Yeah, yeah, right? I was like, okay. I mean, so, I pretty much what we knew would happen here is that they ran out of Green Ranger footage. <laughs> and they were like, all right, we got to figure something out. We got to do it now. Okay, okay. Uh, we have two options. 
use this white ranger, this six ranger from this other series. Yes. Or use the green ranger that's in that series. And they were like, eh, the white ranger looks better. <laughs> but, oh my God. but the difficulty here lies in editing, because you're editing two different Sentai series to make them look like one. And that was interesting because what they did, um, you were kind of like, well, I, I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Like, unless someone told me, oh, hey, you know, the White Ranger, it's not even with them at all. Yeah. I, I would have never noticed. You just got to accept it. Where you're like, you all right, editing was good enough. Yeah. It was like, okay, I guess. This is Power Rangers. Yeah. You know, and that was it. You let it roll. And ultimately, it did meld together really well. And I was like, okay, yeah. I thought the White Ranger was with them the whole time. Yeah. Even though, you know, he wasn't ever there. And he was outside of his Zord, even though he could be in it. So, yeah, that made it weird. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Never mind. Because <laughs> I didn't think about that like again. Like, wait, it's kind of like the Green Ranger again, where it's like, oh, I don't have to be inside the Zord. I can but just, he can, but also he's it. not the one controlling the Zord because the Saber is controlling the Zord. I don't know. Oh, God. Yeah. You just yeah. accepted. Yeah, I have to dispel, you know, yeah. disbelief and just let him roll. Fine. He's that powerful, though. He doesn't have to be in it. You know? That's how cool he is. If he wanted to. If he wanted to, so he could take that ball and put it in a little slot. That was like the only so, time they ever do that, by yeah. the way. I don't think I, they, they do that I don't again. think they do that ever again. <coughs> well, well the, remember that part where so, he was... Yeah, but that's so weird. I feel like they could reuse that footage in every episode since they're obviously trying to <laughs> exactly. extend it. Exactly. All the time. It's just like, oh, now it's time. You know, you just see him walk over. Ha <laughs> ha. And he slides it in. Boom. I think it, it's crazy how creative they were, though, with the editing. Because they did have so much to do. That mm -hmm. even in the Super Mega Force War, they couldn't even edit out the, the Rangers that weren't American ones. They were like super. They were super mega lazy. Whereas this this, this one, they were just they were super pretty mega cool. lazy. Um, you know what? So we did. We talked about a lot about the um, the White Ranger and where he came from. But nobody's going to explain it better than uh, Justin from Henshin Hangout. So just take it away. Hello, it's Justin from Henshin Hangout, and let's talk about the White Ranger. Now, let's be clear, I'm not talking about Tommy, who was the former Green Ranger, who then became the White Ranger, and then became the leader of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What I'm talking about is the origins of the Power Rangers that wasn't a Red Ranger. Do you remember the fact that he had a talk word named Saba? How about the White Tiger Sword? It's a pretty nifty robot. Okay, so let's break it down. Uh, talking Sword. Cool Zord. Tommy's return, and he's the leader of the Power Rangers. Got it? Cool. Let me introduce you to Ko. Yeah, that little brat is Kiba Ranger. Uh, Ko is a 10-year-old kid uh, whose inspiration is very clearly Bart Simpson, who is summoned by, I'm going to say this as slow as I can, Bayako Shinken, a mystical weapon with a tiger head, uh, to become Kiba Ranger. To become Kiba Ranger, Ko's body actually kind of turns into an adult body, and that's kind of a way to hide the fact that he's a little kid. Uh, another way to kind of hide the fact that Ko's a kid when he's the Kiba Ranger is that uh, Bayako Shinken actually speaks for him. So he's kind of, Ko sort of like pantomiming uh, you know, while Bayo Bakayoko Shinken is actually doing all the talking. So we're kind of hiding the fact that Ko's a kid. Um, Ko also kept his identity a secret from the Dai Rangers. As for White Tigers, so Kiba Ranger's robot is actually called a Mystical Chi Beast Wan Tiger. A robot that was born, not built. Because in Die Ranger, robots are born. Uh, I have uh, problems with Ko. First, he's infatuated with Rin, Die Ranger's Pink Ranger. And in his first episode alone, uh, Ko tells Rin that you're my sister, forcibly. And then he grabs her boobs and then steals her purse. That's an episode one of Ko's introduction. Uh, later, when he does become Cuba Ranger, he uses his powers to create a gust of wind to see up girls' skirts. I don't like him. He's a character that's supposed to be mischievous, but instead comes off as a, I don't know how to put it, an annoying pervert. Um, to be fair, Ko does get a little better throughout the show. Um, but in his first four episodes, yeah, boy, my patience with him gets real short. Though, Die Ranger is still considered to be a highly regarded Sentai. But in my opinion, Ko's introduction to the series is 
rough to say the least. Try as they might, while it seems like their intention was to make the Sentai equivalent of Bart Simpson, I think his introduction made him look more like Poochie. You know, because I'm imagining Toei going like, oh, where's Ko? Why, that's what they do, oh, where's Ko? They should ask the kids that, where's Ko? Ko should be on screen, that's what I feel. <laughs> But like I said, without going into spoilers, Ko does end up getting some pretty interesting characterization and he even gets an exciting arc or two. If you want to see for yourself how Ko develops in Die Ranger, it is available to watch on DVD. And I do highly recommend it because that show gets buck wild. Uh, that's all we have for today. Please check out my podcast. It's uh, both the Spielberg one and the remake one. It's going to be in the links below. And of course, check out the webcomic I co-created called Shining Yusha. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to that hashtag show to keep up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture. See ya. Chip Douglas? That wouldn't be a shock. Sorry for the buffering issues. We did not know that the water was so pervy. Yeah. My God. Like, what, what was is, going on? Dude, what is this? He's talking. He rubs his hand. Hello, honk. Whoa, whoa, when do you say hello to a woman by squeezing your I feel like the woman should just punch that kid in the face. But it's a kid, I guess, so they were like, I, I don't, don't know care. if I can do that. Okay, but he was like, so like, and then he insults her. Slap, open hand slap, maybe not. Nah, nah, it should have been whole, it should have been full on, okay. full on. I would have given him a whole, a whole on slap. It wouldn't have been like, I'm going to slightly slap you. You know, I'm going to slap the whole like shit out of you. I feel like would have just been fist like into your face. Th yeah, that's true. That's the, true. White, the White Ranger definitely would be in the Me Too movement. <laughs> For sure. Oh my gosh! How many rangers would have came out? Like, right. yes, it's. I don't. I don't know how to say anything else that about it. Terrible. He just did this. That was me. terrible. I didn't know he was such a Dude, perv. He's making like the wind blow and panties are showing. He's grabbing boobs and everything. Like, how is this a kids show? How, how did that? How is he a hero? I don't understand that. Right? Like. Oh, he's yeah, such a that's hero. Yeah, that's the difference. I'm the white ranger. I kind of like his costume less and less. I'm like, oh, it's white ranger, man. <laughs> Yeah, it was crazy. But, but when, once again, I mean, that's the problem. You get this rush of puberty going on. I mean, all these that's hormones. That's true. The hormones that we're talking about. You know, about, yeah. he was a little kid, and then all of a sudden, oh, I'm, 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 I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. You know, and then being a man, he starts feeling up people. I don't know. I don't know. Steve Rogers had some super serum, and he wasn't all up on Peggy Carter like that. Uh, well, so. yeah, true. Well, Steve true. Rogers wasn't a kid. Though. He wasn't a kid. You know. Oh, that's true. That's true. You know, he was just small. a kid, and he grows up like Got it. instantly. See? Oh. Oops. Oh, sorry. We need to make sure it sinks in. So we're gonna do it one more time. Okay. Are, did you? Can you cut our mics? So we could talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So. So we all know that Tommy becomes a white. Yeah, we're forever. But where does the like white tiger weeks. coin come from? Wasn't the white Power Ranger introduced initially? Was Zordon the original white ranger? Let us shed some white light on this fan theory. Hi everyone, I'm LT and this is a new segment we're calling Theories from the Morphin Grid where we'll be discussing fan theories in the Power Ranger universe. Let us see where the grid takes us today. In the two-part episode, White Light, Zordon and Alpha 5 are creating the White Ranger using the power of the White Light. This would seem to imply that they also created the White Tiger Coin, which is the source of the Ranger's power. But in the four-part series Ninja Quest, we learn that Zordon and Alpha 5 find all the power coins that were created by Ninjor. For this theory to work, we have to assume that the White Tiger Coin was found with the rest of them, and that it's been its possession this entire time. But the reason there was no White Ranger in the group initially was because Zordon was already connected to the powers of the White Ranger. Upon finding the power coins, Zordon must have harnessed the power of the White Tiger Coin, making him the original White Ranger. At the start of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Zordon is stuck in a time warp from his battle with Rita, leaving him unable to utilize his White Ranger powers. And it's only after he realizes that his rangers are outmatched by Zed, and knowing that Tommy can no longer be the Green Ranger, forces Zordon to find a way to transfer his powers to another. And this is what we see unfold in the White Light episodes. 
So what do you guys think of Zordon being the original White Ranger? Do you agree with our analysis or do you see some glitches in the grid? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Also let us know your favorite Power Ranger theories and we'll try to get to them next time on Theories from the Morphing Grid. Please like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture. So we're back. Uh, sorry again for the lag. I know it's funny because I'm watching us as we're doing oh, the show. Yeah. The struggle is real right now. Yes. It's uh, oh my God. dial up. We probably could connect faster to dial up, you think? Probably. It's, it's Lord Zed, guys. This is what happens. They're Don't affecting worry. the morphing <laughs> grid. Uh, that was a good theory. So let me ask you, did you learn more about the White Ranger after doing this theory video? I think I did. Because it deals with stuff and the, how the power coins were created. I didn't know about any of that. Uh, I don't know. Yes. I'm kind of sold on it. Do you think Zordon was the White Ranger? I believe it. I'm a believer now. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Do you think that they used some of that plot line during the uh, during the the 2017 movie? movie? That's what I was thinking, too, how they made him the leader of the Power Rangers. And mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I think because of that movie, too, I'm sold on this. On this. Oh, okay. Zordon right. was the original White Power Ranger. I like that actually. Yeah. That, that matches up. That would actually be pretty good. Yeah, and why he wasn't like trying to, it forced him into creating this because he's like, oh no, my, my team. So, <laughs> they're like, yeah, I know. We all go know ahead, about Kim. Uh, no one likes her, remember? We said that. Yeah, like, that's why out. I was no like, this is so funny. Like that part, <laughs> in the very beginning where they're playing football and they're like, hey, good job with that fancy catch. And he's like spinning in circles. I was like, man, oh, I like yeah, how no one know? at this school knows how to play any sports. Zach's any sports. cousin no. is in this episode too. Yeah. yeah. We won't really ever see him after this. No, we have that cousin. We have the other dude that works Richie, the, uh, Richie yeah, who runs the uh, Kung Fu uh, the karate kind of, contest. Karate contest. Dude, they for <laughs> sure were setting up. They were. Like him to be the new Red Ranger. See, what I would what I would have dug is that if um, so Zordon uh, Alpha kidnap uh, Tommy. Cause that's what happened. Uh, and then yeah. after that, for the other two, <laughs> they just like everyone's asking where is Richie, where is blah blah, throughout the episode, and they're like, I don't know. It's weird. I haven't found them either. So then you're just wondering, oh, did Zordon also take them? Who is he picking? It would have been that would have been more yeah. of a more of a guess, you know? But no. Nah. <laughs> nah. Um, okay, let's talk about uh Angel Grove Prom. Ooh. We're gonna switch gears. Talk I'm about Power Morph Gun. Oh, by the way, if you want to send us video uh, fan questions for Ciara Hannah and Camille Hyde. You can do that at THS at fan, no, that, wait, fan questions at that hashtag show.com. Yeah. Fan questions at that hashtag show.com. You can send in your fan questions for Camille Hyde and Ciara Hanna. We're going to be talking to them next week. <clears throat> and a free comic book day here in the comic book in Manhattan Beach. Ciara Hanna and two other Rangers are going to be with us. And then in Culver City the next mm -hmm. day on the 6th, Ciara Hanna and two other Rangers are going to be joining us again. Uh, so check us out there. We won't have any new shows next week. Probably a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Mainly because of these buffering issues. Um, so you can check us out live in free co at Free Comic Book Day at the Comic Bug in Manhattan Beach in Culver City in Southern California. It's better than going to Riverside. Um, and that's a true story. Riverside blows. Yeah. Uh, all right. Perfect. So we got Angel Grove Prom. And uh, that's coming up. It's going to be at Power Morphicon yes. this year. And that's the special event that we're throwing. Yesterday on the Ranger Wrap-Up, we did a QA and a uh, about Morphicon. All your questions and concerns could have been answered by a Morphicon representative who was here on the show with us yesterday. Now, uh, Jezzer's dealing with car issues. That's why the cookie face, that's why Cookie Chan isn't here. Did you know that? Yes. yes. I, if he was I'm here, this, these problems wouldn't be happening. So this is your fault, Cookie Chan. <laughs> your fault. Just know, your fault. Um, he he does have he does carry a node on his back and that gives a signal. So so Angel Grove <laughs> Prom is going to be our after party. By the way, uh, we do have a special special. <laughs> Tom spell. We do have a special musical performer there, and it's going to be Johnny Young Bosch, who you all know as Dude. Adam, the Black Ranger and Green Ranger. Come he also on. is the voice of Ichigo on Bleach. Um, so he's going to be performing a few songs at Angel Grove Prom. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. 
<laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, That's now, uh, on, guys. <laughs> we, we have these things called uh, promposals. Now, you can also send your promposals in. Also, you can send your fan questions into our um, Facebook page and our Facebook page. You put <laughs> our Facebook page, uh, that hashtag show, and THS uh, Power Rangers. You can send them into either one. Also, you can send in your promposals the same way. Mikey sent about 15, so he got turned down for 14. He got lucky that I told Maverick to go with him because I felt bad for him. Hey, man, let's pull the curtain back. You want to know, you're going to complain about buffering. That's what happened, buddy. <laughs> oh, um, wow. Woo! So what happened is you you care about your fans and you did something good. That's I care about that Maverick. That's, I, that's what I just heard. I heard you care about your fans. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> we have these promposals. Uh, and let's uh, let's play them. Maybe we get so I see some of the outtakes where Mikey gets shut down <coughs> fourteen times. Oh jeez! <laughs> it's what happened. Jessica, will you be my date to the Angel Grove prom? Hi, Jonathan. Even though you should have chose Joe's side, don't worry. We'll get you on the right side. I will definitely go with you to the Power Rangers prom. That would be awesome. Thank you for asking me, and I will see you in a few months. Bye. Carlos Martinez, and this is my prom proposal video, and I would like to officially ask Cat Bloodgood to our Morphicon prom, Angel Grove prom. And no, I did not in any way know Carlos was going to ask me, nor did I think he was going to ask me, so I was definitely shocked when I found out. Um, and I did react the best way I could by saying no, and liars, and like, oh, I can't believe you said no to him. Guys, let's be real. I was not going to plan on going with him as is, so I'm okay with saying no. However, in turn, there is somebody I would like to ask, and that somebody would be, uh, Ernie, would you like to go to Andrew Group Prom with me? What's up, guys? Journey here. So, oh my god. Holy shit. Someone actually asked me out to the Angel Grove Prom. What? Why? And it's none other than the amazingly kind and wonderful cat. Thank you so much. Like, that would be so much fun to be able to go out with an awesome girl like Cat. But I'm stuck in a predicament. So, Carlos is my boy, my main role dog, and I just can't take his date away from him. There's some kind of code out there about that. I was talking about all three of us going together. That way, I can be the first hashtagger to have two dates. That's two more than Daniel. I mean, hey, there's plenty of journey to go around. So I am flipping this around. Cat, Carlos, will you both be my date for the Angel Grove prom? Now listen, it's either the three of us or it's none of us. And no, it's not an acceptable answer. L out to the hashtag show prom. It's not called that, it's called Angel Grove prom. I'm here to ask L out to the Angel Grove prom thing. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm super flattered that two people asked me to prom. And Derek, I'm so sorry, but MJ Spuds asked me first, so I'm going to have to go with him. And I'm super excited to be able to go with you. Oh, hey. I didn't realize I was holding my phone making a video. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is JD. I'm a producer for the Hashtag Show, and I help produce most of the Power Ranger content on here. I'm a huge Ranger fan, and I've been to all the Paramorphicons. So it's crazy that this year we're throwing the official Angel Grove prom at this Paramorphicon. So, obviously, I need a date. So I am asking Miss Kelly Bohart if you would be my date for the Angel Grove prom. I don't know anyone I'd have more fun with, and uh, I await your response. So let's party like it's 1993, guys. Offer to go to the Angel Grove prom. See you there. <clears throat> hey, hashtag group. I want to make my video for the Angel Grove prom. I would like to invite my daddy to be my Angel Grove prom date. So, my name is Mikey Perez. I've been a fan of this group for a long time. This is my second Power Morphin Con, so I would like to invite my daddy, my daddy to be my date for the Power Morphin Con date, so. 
Hey guys, this is my new promposal video. This is going to be a promposal to uh, Magdalia. So sorry to Robin Chan and to Mike Perez if that kinda messes up your plans. But uh, hope to see you guys there at Angel World Prom. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's come to my attention that I owe a couple people a few answers about Paramorphicon, about, about Paramorphicon. Um, so that's to Derek, to Mikey, and I guess now Jezzer. Uh, basically guys, my status of going to Paramorphicon is up in the air right now. Uh, a few weeks ago, I received a saved a date for my cousin's wedding back in New Jersey, and it is taking place on August 18th. Ugh. Um, so I might actually be going to the wedding instead of to Paramorphicon. So I'm actually not going to be, um, committing myself to any, uh, date right now. Uh, if I do decide, and that's going to actually be last minute to go to Paramorphicon, uh, it's going to just going to be easier for me to coordinate with that with Jezzer. So, uh, Jezzer, I will accept just because you're like right there and it's going to take no effort at all. <laughs> oh, I hope he doesn't take any offense to that. Anyway, guys, I'm really, really flattered and I hope that you will find other dates to Paramorphicon and I actually hope I can go and I'll be able to see you there. I was wanting to invite Megan Batoon. Would you be cool to come with me, go with me to PowerMorphCon at Angel Grove Prom? The Angel Grove Prom is coming up and I can't wait to come. So I need a date. So I'm going to ask Sarah, would you be my date for the Angel Grove Prom? In response to your proposal, I accept. I don't know how I'm going to get to Pormorphicon, but I trust you. Oh, hey. So, I'm sure you're already aware, but Pormorphicon is going to be hosting the Angel Grove High School Prom. And that's crazy, but um, it's a little ways away. Um, and I'm sure it's going to be fun. I Actually, I can promise it's going to be fun. Uh, because I can't think of anyone else I'd rather spend it with than with you. Which leads me to my next question. Diana Chen, would you do me the honor of going to the Angel Grove High School prom with me? It would be a misdeed for the most beautiful girl of Angel Grove High to go with anyone other than myself. I patiently await your response. Hi Derek, thank you so much for the sweet prom video. Yes, I would like to go to prom with you. All right, today I'm here to ask someone for a proposal for Power Morphicon uh, this year, 2018. Now, a little bit of background on who I want to ask. Now, I've been a big fan of Power Rangers since 93. I mean, everybody has, why not? So I am definitely going to go with the first person that always comes to mind when it comes to a Power Ranger a crush or someone that... I would definitely want her to ask. So for my proposal, I would love and love, love, love to ask Amy Jo to Power Morphicon this year and hopes that she can go. All right. So we'll hear from you soon, Amy Jo. If not, don't worry about it. And hey, hi, Tiger Hero. This is Mikey. I decided to do another prom video. This is my last shot. So. Uh, I decided to go hard on this one. I decided to invite Maverick to be my integral prom date for Power of Con 18. So I'll wait for your reply. Hey Mikey, it's Maverick with that hashtag show. I am so flattered. Everyone showed me your video and I think it is the sweetest, probably the only prom proposal I've ever been sent. So good for you. And I heard it was in August. So I, if I'm free, I know I will do my best to be alongside you. And if, if anything, just for a picture, because what girl doesn't love to get dressed up and have a gentleman escort them? So I look forward to it and I'll keep you posted. I'm Daniel. You may remember me from such videos as running around with my pants off. Okay. Right. It's recording. Right. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> uh, also, um, well, I guess uh, Riverdale fabricated a whole story. Cheryl's got a disease, oh Daniel. Tell us oh, what's the disease. Uh, it's called liabilities. But this video is interesting. 
Because what I'm doing is asking you, Tony Sanchez. You so fucking precious when you smile. To Angel Grove Prom. Please do me the honor. Okay, hi everybody. Uh, this is Tony with uh, my best friend, uh, partner in crime, Renee. Hi, Renee. And as we all know, uh, a girl cannot just go ahead and accept a date unless her best friend signs off on it. So, Renee, thoughts, comments, concerns about Daniel Jerome? I thought it was adorable. Mm -hmm. I thought he clearly respects you. Mm -hmm. I'm a little upset he didn't ask my permission first. Very true. Very true. That that's a big that's a big demotion. Yeah, big demerit right there. Um, but ultimately, what do you think about me going to Angel Grove prom with him? I'm on board if you're on board. Hmm. You're a grown ass woman. Am I though? <laughs> <laughs> I will go ahead and tell you, Daniel Jerome, I will go to prom with you. <laughs> I have some uh, con conditions and some, and some uh, questions though. Uh, number one, uh, I'm told that this is a 90s prom. I will be dressed to theme then. <laughs> I hope you will be too. Not required, but I really, really hope you will. Uh, two. Um, Which means required, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a corsage situation kind of thing? I, 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 just a question. Not necessarily a request or a condition. Just a question. So do with that what you will. I'm asking the question. Uh, what else? God, it's a 90s prom and stuff. Oh, awesome. Colors. Colors. Yes. So you and I both know that I look great in black. Half of my closet is black. I also look really good in red. Um, blue is my favorite color, although green got to represent my Slytherin. All I'm saying is that yellow is the only color I will not wear. It makes me look like I have jaundice. Can't be done. But yeah, Daniel, I'm really excited. We're going to prom! Ah! Hey guys, uh, I'm with uh, nobody right now. Alright, who are you? I'm nobody. And if I'm nobody, that makes you less than nobody, right? I can play that game. I can play that game, Brian. Yeah, this is uh, Jimmy. James, he's a graphic artist. And also, Jimmy, I can ask you something. Sure, what's up? Prom, please. No. <laughs> Screw you then! <laughs> Don't worry, I go to prom with you, buddy. Yay! Prom buddy thrower! No, 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 too late, too late, too late, too late, too late. What do you say, yes or no? So, uh, guys, we have something special coming up. Uh, we are throwing the official Power Ranger party at Power Morphicon 2018 in August in Anaheim Convention Center. Um, and we're doing this thing called the Power Ranger. Uh, it's called the Angel Grove Prom. Are you, are you familiar with Angel Grove? Uh, yeah. Are you familiar with Angel? Are you familiar with the theme of prom? I love prom. Did you go to your prom? I went to every prom. I went before I was even able to go to prom, and I went the year after I graduated. Wait. For real. You went the year I after? Got, I got someone to ask me so I can go. I love prom so much. I And I've asked all the guys to prom. I've actually never been asked. Really? I've asked every single guy because I like being aggressive. All right. Well, this is we're going to flip the tables here. So what do you mean? I'm hosting this along with the rest of our, our crew, and... I was wondering if you would go to prom with me. Oh man, uh, I mean this is this is kind of awkward. It's awkward because oh. Jake kind of already asked me. But uh, are you even gonna be in town that weekend? Oh, you're not. I mean, sorry, Jake. That's all you get again. Oh, so I have a prom date. Yeah, I'll go there with you. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Well, we'll see you at Angel Grove Prom 2018 at the uh, Anaheim Convention Center. See you at Morphicon. I love it. The way it ended, and it wasn't even intentional. Where after it's like she's happy, she's dancing. It goes to it goes to that face. Rolling. Piece of shit. I love it right there. That's so good.
Um, those were a lot of fun. Those were a lot of fun. Those uh, prom proposals were a lot of fun. Again, you know what? I'm surprised that nobody's asked. <coughs> nobody. I'm actually. Uh, I probably shouldn't encourage this, mm. but I'm surprised nobody's uh, sent in a video for Camille because I said fan. Oh questions, yeah, that's right. And they know that we're showing them. I'm surprised that nobody's done that. Because um, she's definitely gonna see it. Like, <coughs> Should have been something. So you're going with uh, Michael J. Fox, yeah. um, <laughs> and you're going with oh, Antoinette. I'm, I'm looking. To go That'll be a lot of time. fun. It's gonna be fun. Um, yes, that's right. I got two dates actually. Woo! Yes, I'm trying uh, to make it four. Yeah. Oh, like, you you want to jump from two to four? Mm -hmm. like, I, I, okay. Like Ric Flair. <laughs> so you just... I want to I want to have that moment where Rick, like you get out of the limo and all these girls get out. Like <laughs> Ric Flair. Like, yeah. I want that Ric Flair moment. Um, oh boy! But that Angel Girl Prom is going to be a lot of fun. It's the official after party for Power Morph Con, and like I said before, Johnny on Bosch will be playing a few songs um, there. So Johnny Johnny will be there. We also have a DJ. We're going to have everything you ever wanted at a prom if you've never been a prom before. Oh, then yeah. um, this is going to be a fun experience for you. And if you've also never been to a prom before, what the hell? I'm just kidding. No, no. If you've never been have you ever been to a prom? This is it. I've been a couple. couple? Yeah. You? I've been to a few. Yeah. Prom's fun. Uh, but Angel Grove Prom's going to be even better. There's going to be f photo opportunities. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things like that. It's going to be a lot of fun. How many proms did you go to? Uh, three? Or three or four? No, four. No, it was like three. Because you went to yours, you went to your date's prom also. Then we went to George's and Ann's? No, we didn't go to dance. We, we went to uh, we went to like a homecoming that, that, that Oh school, yeah, okay, never mind. Or it was like something like that. It was some kind of other dance. I don't want to. I still want to um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun at uh, Angel Grove Prom. Um, what else do we got? We don't have com We don't have comments <laughs> because uh, they're not printed out. Usually they're right here, and I'm not gonna go back to the old videos and just read them because nah. that's pointless boy boy no 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 um, we, you know what we haven't been suffering from the buffering issue though, lately. Oh, i know i was like no one's no one said yay hooray no one said anything yet. oh i wanted to say one last thing thank you guys for working hard on this i appreciate it you producers back there you guys don't understand how hard they work you i do really don't thank shut up guys. i wanted to say one last thing blackwing he said he wanted to switch teams just like spider-man did uh in, in the comic book version of uh, civil war uh team joe says no thanks Cool. Wow. Uh, <laughs> doors are closed, buddy. Not accepting any new ones. No more new members of the Illuminati. <laughs> no thanks. We're good. Um, you can join the Cookie Face Army, though. He, I think he's taking uh, yeah, applicants. I think he's, yeah, he's taking applicants. It's, it's so weird. Problem. This Cookie Face thing has like, really become like a thing. How come you don't have a thing? I just don't. You don't I mean, have like a gimmick. I never do. The Cookie Face Army is uh, is going wild. You got the Illuminati the that's Illuminati going wild. And what, do you, what do you got? Nothing. What, nothing. Did, what did they call you yesterday? The uh, Or what did, what did Johnny call you yesterday? Battlestar go, go Galactica. He just called me the actually Battlestar Galactica. And I'm Did like, he really? What the hell? That's not who like, you are. Exactly. You know? You? The, pff, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, guy, you should have come guy. up with a, like a team. Like we have a team. Uh, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like something. I'll figure it out. You just join uh, the Illuminati with the rest of us. Um, the lag has stopped. So Mail back teams. to the. Back, I guess we could really finish out with this White Ranger yeah. thing. Um, yeah. And say what you really thought about <laughs> the White Ranger. <laughs> uh, obviously, he had the coolest costume. We already got that. He also had one of the longest tenures um, as a... Well, Tommy had one of the longest... Ten Tommy did have the longest tenure as a Power Ranger. Right. But the White Ranger... I, out of all the Tommy's costumes, do you think this one was the best? Yeah, you, because you. I don't know enough about Power Rangers to like make an informed decision, but I do love this white and gold. Mm -hmm. no. oh. Yeah. What? No, <laughs> Black Wing... It's no thanks. <laughs> I don't need any honor, honorary, honorary members. Honorary no members. Mm, well, we're good. Uh, mm, no. no more applications. We're good. You can stick on the team you originally started with. Uh, I'll take the team that I have. I got Layla already. Um, you know, who else we got? Yeah, I got a lot of team members in there. Um, <clears throat> uh, the white, but you don't. You don't know. Out of but out of the two costumes, the green and white, you got to go. Or the white one for sure. White one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It just looks better. The whole color color. Yeah. Also, they don't have, you know, one like thing. Like the symboling and everything. Yes. Like, I think it looks yeah, really oh, good. Oh, let's talk about this because we're probably, I'm probably never going to bring this up again. But do you guys remember in the movie, in the, in the 1996 movie or whatever, mm -hmm. that White Ranger suit looked badass. Yeah, like, man. I'm sh you remember like, the movie? I remember the movie. I don't remember the suit. It's, it's kind of like different. a motorcycle, uh, like all of them. Oh, were, really? Like motorcycle uh, suits. The one where they turn into animals, right? Like frogs and... and I think so. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, one, right? yes. Yeah. Look, isn't that a, a way cooler suit? Look at that suit. Look how clean that looks. The padding and everything on it. it like, actually look really oh. good. 
I loved it so much. I love the movie suit so much. And like I said, I was like, oh, I wish they would have put it on there, but there's no way they were able to bring those back to the show. Also, no one thing about the um, one thing about the the White Ranger suit too is that because uh, originally I didn't think that gold and uh, Gold and green would really go well together, but they do go really well. Gold together. goes mm. well with every color. But gold, black, and gold, black, and white look yeah, great. They like really do. gold, black, and white looks amazing. But yeah, gold and green, like you said at first, I wouldn't. But gold goes well with almost everything. Yep. It's That's gold. Right. I love gold. And he didn't have that like fake mouth. Like it was just like a. Oh, oh thank God! Yeah. I like that better too. I did not like the weird little like, like oh, the, lips, the lips, the lips, and and print. Yeah, I just. Wanna... It freaked me out, man. I didn't get it. I was like, "This, oh, look, nightmare fuel. Like, it's immediately what I thought when I saw it. How difficult do you think it was to keep that suit clean, though? Because you would have to assume that they went through a lot of different spandex. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, oh, for the show or uh, for, well, for the movie? Both, yeah. For, for, the movie, both. for the movie, it was leather, and then that thing, it automatically, with the with the padding on top of that leather, right under the, under the crevice and everything, that means just... When they start to move around, the leather is going to start to wear, so the color is going to change from the white to the that's dark true. that's underneath. Like they probably had to change those so many times. That's true. Especially for show? some people. TV show, like you said, that stuff got dirty so quick. So you just, right, just like one roll on the grass. Seriously, and, you're, and you're they're like, God, up. why did we do this? Can't we do like something else for the choreography? And they're like, No, we have to roll on the ground. And then like, <coughs> Let's get back I wonder how many suits they went through. Like had actual suits lot. they had to go through. Had to be a whole lot. Also, the cool thing about the White Ranger was that it, with the Green Ranger version of the American version, his shield looked really crappy. Yeah. His shield was like but foldable and bendable, yeah, it's right? Crazy. Yeah. But in the <clears throat> with the White Ranger, you don't really you don't really notice that because it's so solid. Yeah. Also dexterity. Um, the other thing that I I really liked about him too. Well, let's talk about Tommy for a second. Um, when you think of Tommy coming back, do you think of the Green Ranger coming back or the White Ranger coming back? Like, which one is more iconic to you? To be like, okay, this is the banner person. Of a, because I remember, I don't, I think it was San Diego Comic-Con, maybe like three years ago. I don't know if you guys remember. There was this giant, like, uh, picture of, it was on a wall. They painted it on a wall. It's all the Red Rangers. All the Red Rangers, But yeah. it was the White yeah. Ranger in the middle. Was it? Mm -hmm. I saw it as they were painting it, so I never saw it actually. Let's see if I can pull that up. Uh, but yeah, they did that whole mural for yeah, the... Yeah, it, it was wow. like the 20th anniversary, yeah. right? See, for me, I think uh, when it comes to Tommy coming back, what was his biggest, uh, it definitely has to be the White Ranger. Yeah, because he's coming back as part of the Power Rangers, not like evil turned good. Zordon back. actually picked him this time. It wasn't exactly. just like, oh, we got to take you now because <laughs> you're not evil. No, the whole well, it was, it was supposed to be this, but that's uh, that was the 20th. It was the mural of that. Uh, <clears throat> see, when Zordon had to take him back, though, that was kind of weird because it did feel like, oh, this is what happens in a custody hearing. Yeah. Like this one of those, like, but oh, this one's great. Like, I guess yes, I got him. I will yeah. choose Tommy. He is one of us now, and he's a leader. <laughs> it, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, look at Tommy. He is so much better than everyone. I will have to bring him <coughs> down and let him land. He can fly for a moment. Also, you're no longer the leader. That's exactly how yeah. it went. And so Jason, here's what we we're going to do chat. now. Also, we, we talked about promposals. Again, send those in to THS Power Rangers or that hashtag show on Facebook. And also fan questions at that hashtag show.com. Toku Kid, thank you so much for the super chat. Any dance battles at PMC Prom? He's a, he's a popper. Oh, well, then you're definitely going to take on Jezzer because um, even though you may be a popper, I don't know if you can do the worm. Jezzer does and do the worm. Jezzer does, does the, do the worm. worm, and we will make sure it happens. <laughs> he does do the we worm. Will, we will amp doing. him up enough. To You're not, you were going to have to amp him up? <laughs> yeah, Jezzer's going to do that himself. I don't want to worry it's gonna one happen. second it's gonna happen. about that. Um, so I know that you guys uh, had a little problem viewing uh, Justin's Sentai video, but I think we should play. Can we play it again? Probably Since yeah. the internet's keep yeah, keep yeah. a ranger, and then we're gonna close out. So uh, I just want to tell you in advance. Uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything. Oh wait, where can everybody find you guys on on online? I'm LT on Instagram, and I am Battlestar Galactica on now, Instagram, and I'm that hashtag Joe on all social media. You can find me over at ScreenRant.com. But uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Stay up to date with everything trending in geek, geek pop, pop culture. culture. But Justin, take us out with your uh, history of the White Ranger in Japan. Hello, it's Justin from Henshin Hangout, and let's talk about the White Ranger. Now, let's be clear, I'm not talking about Tommy, who was the former Green Ranger, who then became the White Ranger, and then became the leader of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What I'm talking about is the origins of the White Ranger costume and its footage. So let me explain to you guys about Kiba Ranger, the sixth member of Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger.
very quick loosey goosey summary of Die Ranger. This show is about the battle between the Die tribes and the evil Gorma tribes. In order to fight the Gorma, a man named Master Kaku picked five Utes, does that sound familiar? Who each have high levels of key to become the Die Rangers. Before we go into Cuba Ranger, I want to ask you a question. What memories do you have about Tommy as a White Ranger? Uh, is it the fact that Tommy was the first Ranger to jump from one color to another? Was it the fact that Tommy became the first leader of the Power Rangers that wasn't a Red Ranger? Do you remember the fact that he had a talking sword named Saba? How about the White Tiger Sword? It's a pretty nifty robot. Okay, so let's break it down. Uh, talking sword, cool Zord, Tommy's return, and he's the leader of the Power Rangers. Got it? Cool. Let me introduce you to Ko. Yeah, that little brat is Kiba Ranger. Uh, Ko is a 10-year-old kid uh, whose inspiration is very clearly Bart Simpson, who is summoned by, I'm going to say this as slow as I can, Bayako Shinken, a mystical weapon with a tiger head, uh, to become Kiba Ranger. To become Kiba Ranger, Ko's body actually kind of turns into an adult body, and that's kind of a way to hide the fact that he's a little kid. Uh, another way to kind of hide the fact that Ko's a kid when he's the Kiba Ranger is that uh, Bayako Shinken actually speaks for him. So he's kind of Ko's sort of like pantomiming uh, you know, while Bayo Bakayoko Shinken is actually doing all the talking. So we kind of hide in the fact that Ko's a kid. Um, Ko also kept his identity a secret from the Dai Rangers. As for his white tigers, or Kiba Ranger's robot is actually called a mystical chi beast wan tiger. A robot that was born, not built. Because in Die Ranger, robots are born. Uh, I have uh, problems with Ko. First, he's infatuated with Rin, Die Ranger's Pink Ranger. And in his first episode alone, uh, Ko tells Rin that you're my sister, forcibly. And then he grabs her boobs and then steals her purse. That's in episode one of Ko's introduction. Uh, later, when he does become Cuba Ranger, he uses his powers to create a gust of wind to see up girls' skirts. I don't like him. He's a character that's supposed to be mischievous, but instead comes off as a, I don't know how to put it, an annoying pervert. Um, to be fair, Ko somehow does get a little better throughout the show. Um, but in his first four episodes, yeah, oh boy, my patience with him gets real short. Though, Die Ranger is still considered to be a highly regarded Sentai, but in my opinion, Ko's introduction to the series is rough to say the least. Try as they might, while it seems like their intention was to make the Sentai equivalent of Bart Simpson, I think his introduction made him look more like Poochie. You know, because I'm imagining Toei going like, oh, where's Ko? Why, that's what they do. Oh, where's Ko? They should ask the kids that. Where's Ko? Ko should be on screen. That's what I feel like they did. <laughs> but like I said, without going into spoilers, Ko does end up getting some pretty interesting characterization, and he even gets an exciting arc or two. If you want to see for yourself how Ko develops in Die Ranger, it is available to watch on DVD, and I do highly recommend it because that show gets buck wild. Uh, that's all we have for today. Please check out my podcast, it's, uh, both the Spielberg one and the remake one. It's going to be in the links below. And of course, check out the webcomic I co-created called Shining Yusha. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to that hashtag show to keep up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture. See ya. Um, so join me, it's gonna be my first. Crown me, Prom King! No, no, King, don't do that. And I need you guys to make sure you join me at the Angel Grove Senior Prom at Power Morphicon this year.